This time we have for review the newest Dutch motorbike Scout Safari. It's probably the simplest and most affordable bike ever. Let's find out what they can do. Let's go! Hi there! As usually it's me, just a voiceover and you're watching review machines. And the machines we are having today are definitely the most interesting. The newest Dodge bikes. They are called Scout Safari. As I said, it's the most simple and cheap bike. And today we will make the various exciting tests to find out what they can actually do. We will speak about the prices at the end of the video. But first of all, let's look at these bikes in detail to see how they are built. Well, we were trying to find some beautiful location for the filming, but this location turned out to be a real mosquito hell. There are clouds of mosquitoes, but the place here is real awesome. So let's examine our bikes right here. As you can see, there are two variants of this bike. The main difference between them is the suspension. The one bike has it and another doesn't have. The construction is really simple. The frame is made of a steel tube. In the middle of the frame, the simple Chinese engine is mounted. It's 6.5 HP, 200 cc. It works together with the waterproof centrifugal clutch. There is a chain rear drive. The rear sprocket is rather big. There is a hydraulic brakes, but only rear wheel is equipped with a brake. Low pressure wheels from an ATV. The seat is quite small to my mind. There are front and rear durable trunks. Footsteps are foldable. The fenders are made of plastic, they are white and big. The orange model has a front and rear suspension. The blue bike doesn't have a suspension at all. So, as you can see, the construction is really the simplest. That is why its weight is minimal. It's only about 50 kilos. Besides, there is an option to equip the bike with a trailer. The carrying capacity of the trailer is 150 kilos. The handlebar as well is wait for it. The simplest. There is only a throttle and brake. And there is only a manual starter. Well, now let's see how this bike works in practice. Traditionally, we begin our tests on asphalt. And firstly, few words about the official stuff. And officially, you don't need to have a driver license and register this bike. But at the same time, you can't use them on public roads. Nevertheless, it's interesting how they go on asphalt. And first thing I want to mention, it's quite comfortable driver position, taking into account that the bike is very small. The handling is also decent. The power of 200cc engine seems to be enough, because its weight is only 50 kilos. The engine is quite turkey. Besides, there is a big rear sprocket, so the torque is really decent. It will suit you, if only you are not going to stunt on it. It's clear, Safari is not the fastest transport. Nevertheless, let's check its maximum speed. As we can see, the maximum speed is 40 km per hour. I think it's decent for such kind of bike, taking into account it has a centrifugal clutch. By the way, soon there will be a modification with 8 HP engine. That version will be effective for use on this bike with a trailer. But it seems even now, with 6 HP engine, the bike handles the trailer without any problems. But it's asphalt. Let's move to the cross country. This bike are cut out for that. As we know, this bike is called Safari, so in some way it tells us what this bike is made for. And it's perfect for first of all countryside. It will be useful for going fishing and hunting, to help you on your household and farms. It will be good everywhere where roads are quite rough. One of the most important advantages of this bike is very compact and simple for transporting. In fact, Safari can be fitted in the trunk of a regular crossover. 
with rear seats folded. Besides, it's light, and you can manage to load and unload it on your own. So you can go wherever you want in your car with safari in a trunk, and then proceed your trip when the road is not suitable for car, but ideal for the bike. By the way, 40 km per hour maximum speed is not so fast for asphalt, but so much for a cross country. By the way, the difference in the price between two versions is about $200. And the question is, if the suspension is worth of this money. But let's see how these bikes move across the same big route. With suspension... And without it. To make this bike more practical, we can use it with a trailer. Let's try it. The trailer costs about $300, and it allows you to use this bike for multiple purposes. The current capacity is 150 kilos, and you can carry a lot of useful cargos. By the way, my weight is about 90 kilos, and as you can see, it's a piece of cake for a bike to tow the trailer with such load on rough road. The next advantage of these bikes is lightweight and maneuverability. You can even go across the woods without any road at all. It's quite compact to maneuver between the trees, and so light to carry it manually to get over any obstacle. In this way you can go over fallen logs and turn it out literally on the spot. As to the hard off-roading, well, I wouldn't say they are cut out for this, but anyway, let's try it here. There is only rear-wheel drive, but on the other hand, it's very light and has big and wide low-pressure wheels, so as a matter of fact, it's quite capable in mud. You sit on the bike low to the ground, so you can easily control it with your legs. Moreover, as we can remember, we have here a centrifugal clutch, not CVT. It's waterproof and more suitable for mud than a CVT. For all that, it's always much easier to go around the obstacle than move straight across it. Safari is ideal for that, it's light and maneuverable. And now it's high time to speak about the prices. The blue version without a suspension costs $900. And the version with the suspension costs $1100. Well, my friends, let's call it a day. Thanks for having a ride with us. Please post your comments what you think of these bikes. Consider subscribing the channel if you like this video. Stay with us. There will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.